rightly described as the Gibraltar of the amusement world, Dreamland has risen out of the sands of Coney Island. It is one of the most stupendous and costly amusement resorts ever promoted in the world. In its plan, scope, and the magnitude of its amusements, Dreamland has been constructed at a cost of three million five hundred thousand dollars. Two thousand skilled mechanics have been employed night and day many months. Truly, it is an architectural triumph. At night, it presents a scene of fairyland, all the buildings, statuary, and surrounding being pure white and illuminated by more than a million electric lights. History of Coney Island, 1904. 1904 saw the opening of Dreamland, the creation of a group of businessmen and politicians. Dreamland boasted such sites as Bostock's Wild Animal Show, a midget village, and the Incubator Building, which housed the first experimental incubators for premature babies. Built at a cost of over $3 million, Dreamland was a vision in white on Coney Island shores. Dreaming of you, that's all I do. Night and day for you I'm pining. And in your eyes, blue as the skies, I can see the love light softly shining. Because you love me there, it seems, pray me. Dreamland at night glows and sparkles with an electrical radiance from over a half million lamps. For 30 miles at sea, the tall beacon tower may be seen like a gleaming finger piercing the inky blackness of the distant horizon. It is a marvelous fact that with all this profuse use of fire in the electrical form, the element has never escaped from the control of the corps of experts in charge. Views of Coney Island, L. H. Nelson Company, 1907. The dream lasted barely seven years. A blaze started at Dreamland Park at Coney Island sometime after midnight last night, and feeding on the flimsy woodwork and paper mache structures which enclosed the park, it gained good headway before it was discovered at 2.10 o'clock. In the early hours of May 27, 1911, a fire started in Dreamland's Hellgate Ride. It quickly spread throughout the park, decimating the amusements and eventually toppling Dreamland's Beacon Tower, by the end of the day, Dreamland was a smoldering wasteland. Although Coney Island only opened for the season last Saturday, many showmen were already there for the summer, and these hurried from their beds as the flames lit up the sky. Soon a crowd of several thousand persons gathered in Surf Avenue opposite the big entrance where creation is shown, for through the entrances good views could be obtained of the leaping flames inside. Soon automobile parties, most of the folk in heavy coats thrown over night clothes, began to appear on Ocean Parkway. From this vantage point, the view was like one of the old-time Payne firework spectacles of Manhattan Beach. 
The flames, fanned by a good breeze, spread out over the tower, which rises high above all else in dreamland, and begin to climb up this structure of lathing and light wood. They licked the white paint with which the structure was covered, and each moment mounted higher up its sides, until presently the tower glowed out against the black of the night sky like some huge bonfire. New York Times, May 28, 1911. Meet me tonight in dreamland, under the silvery moon. Meet me tonight in dreamland, where love's sweet roses bloom. Come with the love light gleaming in your dear eyes of blue. Meet me in dreamland, sweet, dreamy dreamland. There let my dreams come true. The dreamland fire caused an estimated $5 million worth of damage. The owners decided not to rebuild. By the 1920s, Dreamland was a municipal parking lot.